Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Shogi Wars. I still have mixed feelings on the whole do I collect all the badges or do I just try to rank up? Um, since I haven't had both time and motivation at the same time to study, perhaps we'll just focus on playing systems I'm more familiar with. Good luck. Um, which unfortunately seems to include this system, but this could still be fun. Um, okay, I can play this and play that, and actually. This is playable too. Oh my goodness. Well, looks like the opponent's got the jump on me here. Um, I think I'll be fine. But, yeah. This is new territory, we'll say. Um... What's the best way about this? It sucks that my bishop... Well, okay. A lot of things suck here. Um... I'll just do the monkey brain thing here. Because I don't see the immediate problem with it. Mm hmm Do I move my rook, or do I not move my rook? I'm not sure. Let's keep the rook where it's at. If I push this pawn... Takes, takes. Yeah, I'm down one piece here. Um, interesting. Okay, let's try this. My opponent has heavily invested in stopping my rook and bishop. So we've survived the opening phase. Um, yeah, if they take, I think pawn takes is merited. Let me just check my overlay. Okay, the overlay looks fine. Um... Yeah, what is this? Why would they play this way? They're trying to provoke me to move the knight, I suppose. This bishop is trapped, at least momentarily. So... Um, I'll keep trying to mount something that resembles an attack. All right. We're going to play something original here. And this gives me the liberty to try other stuff. I don't know if I should move the rook onto this file. It's where the king is at at the moment, but not where the king is going. Free pawn. 
Don't mind if I do. What's the threat? There is a threat. Nana right? What's the threat? I'm down a minute. Um but I seem to be faring decently here. Um This looks ridiculous, doesn't it? But uh, I can't find anywhere else to invade, so I'll make some threat over here. And they'll reinforce over here, and then we switch the rook here, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I could have moved the rook first and moved the lance and the knight and tried to find some subtle maneuvering um, pathway or something. I'd also considered pawn 5-5, five five, but that didn't look great. Hmm. Interesting. That's a good point, actually. Um... I can't exactly decline this. Now, if I take, though, things get a thousand times worse, so I need to just let this happen. Um... To take or not to take? That's the question. You know what I want to do. Um, I'm actually going to show some restraint and just leave that there. That's fine. This is an overplay. Go Fun.
Hmm, my opponent does have a pawn. That's inconvenient for me. Really? Is my opponent alive? Something. Now that looks like death to me. Thanks for the game. One down, two to go. Could be that within the last week I missed that same mating pattern in a different game. Good luck. So that could be why I was able to spot that. So this, okay. Yeah, I was curious which piece they would put here. The silver is in fact going in front. So my opponent is going to use my own plan against me. That will be interesting to see. Or to witness. Oi. So... I haven't pushed my edge pawn here. It looks like I don't need to, but this bishop might make it here. So that could be problematic. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay, I don't want to block my rook, so we're going this way instead. Um, interesting. 
This looks risky, no? Like, this is a artificial castle. And they're forced to push this to deal with my knight. But then I can break down the center file, even though I'm supposed to move the king and the rook to opposite planes and such. Um, that's not the only consideration in a position. Yes, it's a very important one. It's a common factor in many situations, but like, what the hell is this, man? This does stop my rook, but, um, this is so messy. This is not how I would have played this in their shoes. Um, I guess they're looking forward to rook takes pawn. If I do silver takes. Am I also looking forward to them taking this? Because that could be interesting. If I could attack down the center file while they're picking off pieces. I don't think I'm looking forward to it. I think I do... Well, if I take here, bishop comes out and I have to exchange my rook for a bishop. Not looking forward to that either. We're just going to embrace this and say that this was the plan the whole time. Mm -hmm. This is always the plan. Um, I mean, the alternative is that I do this. So, okay. Um... It's time for me to get good at tactics. Yeah, this is going to get messy. I'm up a minute against a Tudon. That's a bad sign. Yeah, I see now. Um, I survived this, but this is messy. Uh, where to put it? Yeah, this is... Oh, that's a sacrifice. <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah, down here would have been defensive. I was not in a defensive mood. Um, so that was a sacrifice that we totally planned out. And I definitely know what my next move is here. Because I wouldn't have made a crazy sacrifice. Alright, so... Um... Can't believe we're doing that, but we're doing that. But Silver Drop takes takes doesn't parry the attack very effectively. Silver Drop, Silver Drop, takes takes, Silver Drop again. This is not good. Well, no, Silver Drop, I don't have to do anything. I can just, like, advance my silver and threaten to drop something over here, but... Everything I dropped there is not effective. Well, if I could force them to do something about this square, then that at least cuts off the bishop for one turn. Welcome. Oh, <laughs> wait a second. Hang on. Hashtag planned. Alright. Um, 
This can only end well. <laughs> this is... I'm definitely not about to lose the game to some stupid tactic. Nope. That's... Yeah, this is definitely going well. Unless it isn't. Oh, man. Silver up, pawn drop. Knight up, pawn takes, silver drop. It's just... It's too much. This is too much, too, but it looks fun. What I'm trying to prepare is my moving this silver up, and then I drop a silver, um, and my attack cuts through without resistance. That would be cool. Yeah. My opponent obviously sees the idea. And says no. Um, hmm. Do I insist? I think I do. Like, unless I can find a better move, I'm sacking here. But I might have a better move in bishop up, bishop up, and then I can take here. It looks super artificial. Um, it's not so bad. Let's try it, actually. Well, my opponent asked, and so I shall answer. Um, this is coming. But that's okay. Okay. What the heck can I do now? I'm in so much trouble if my castle splits. But, um, there's no way for me to, like, prevent my castle from exploding here, so... It's kind of a foregone conclusion that I'm in deep doo-doo. On the other hand, I can continue trying to break open the 4th and 5th files. I think my opponent will take my knight, I drop a silver, they take my bishop. And then I'm left with a pretty useless rook here. But I don't have a different idea in mind, so... We're just going to go with plan A and hope it's good enough. That's a good move. Wait a second. Um, well, 
Wait a second. There's a lot going on here. How much can I weaken their castle? I wonder. <laughs> um Sampun Hmm This is crazy. So if gold takes, I can drop a rook and I have a fork. But I might be in deep trouble. Um... Hmm. So I guess I'm threatening to take this and then come back and take the bishop. Um. I guess they've been trying to trap my rook here, and they'll keep... They've got a good effort going. I think they succeed in trapping my rook, and even if they don't... Well, okay. That's fine. Hang on. Ah, uh, no, the impulsive move here has to be right. Um... Nifun. There's no universe where this is the wrong move. Um. Bishop drop and sack is an idea, but only a half formed idea.
1分20秒Thanks for the game. Sorry about how it ended. Two down, one to go. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah, my opponent over defended in the opening, and I over attacked. So. I guess that's what happens. I maybe should do something about this check. <laughs> this could have been quite bad, maybe. Maybe not. Either way, uh... This position looks pretty nice. Um, how do I not F this up? How do I not F this up? Okay, pawn drop is actually... It, this looks reasonable. The silver retreats. Um, I unblock my bishop, but I'm threatening a silver drop here. I forgot to move my king. Oh shit. Um, yeah. If I could have spent one more tempo before this goes down, um, that one tempo would have been move the king the hell out of here uh, before all the shit goes down. All right, let's do that. Pretend we played this in the right move order. All right, so... Um, okay, back to business.
All right, looks like my anti-spam bot is broken again. Uh, uh, looks like I've got to sacrifice heavy material to break through with my rook. So I guess that's what I'm going to do. Unless they retreat the gold and maybe we take the pawn and just hunt the king directly. That could be interesting. Um, you know what? I don't need a dragon to beat this opponent. Um, we'll find some other way in. So, okay, I'm tacking down this diagonal. They're probably going to drop another silver. Oh, not where I expected it. Um, Nanafun. Wait, did I really give away this many pieces? Sure looks like I've been generous today. Oh, I'm hitting a pawn, though. That's kind of nice. Oh, but silver drop... Alright, wait, no, if I take there, my horse for one turn is not hanging. Um, so it's fine for me to take a silver on the square. I was about to not be very enthused that I walked into a fork, but um, I'm actually dealing, I'm coping with this one. Holy crap. That's exciting. Uh... I'm surprised I don't have checkmate. I'm so surprised I do not have a checkmate here. So they'll drop another silver, and they'll have evacuated their hand of all of their pieces, minus however many pawns they have in hand, which I guess is three. Oh, wow. Um, I have to take this, but I want to take this. Oh, that's cool. I'm impressed. <sighs> um, yeah, I think this is my best resistance here, but it's not great. <laughs> what to do? Gofun.
Well, I have to take this, otherwise I made it, so we're taking it. Um, but this is not good. The one thing that's to my favor here is that my opponent does not have a knight. If my opponent had a knight, this would suck. Um, oh, that's clever. Hmm. That is a good move. This is a beautiful reply, which means I'm skeptical that it actually does anything. What I saw is if I drop a silver, and if they take, then I can take this. But, um, like, they could drop a silver here. And then I have to save my rook. I don't have much of a choice here. Oh, that protects the gold general. That is super crafty. And I probably would have walked into... Well, the fork wouldn't have mattered if I'm taking this with check. But now the gold is defended. Um, at least while the bishop sits here. I think this is a bit too crafty. Uh, and sure, they can win my rook, but suddenly I'm not alarmed about it. They can give up a bishop and a pawn and a gold to win my rook. And I have some semblance of an attack. Oh, that doesn't even win my rook. Um, oh, it does win my pawn, though. A pretty important pawn. <sighs> yeah, okay. I misread this, then. Um, so we had a proverb here earlier about keeping your king and rook apart. And my opponent's going to get a, he has a gold, and they're going to drop it and take my rook. And it's going to hurt. Um, so that's why you pay attention to proverbs. Well, no, if they do silver takes, I could actually chase the bishop. That would be strange. But possible. It would be most unexpected. Um... 
It would step out of this fork idea. Okay, that's smarter. That's pretty smart. Okay. Okay, you get my rook. Congrats, dude. I know they're hunting my king, though. Do they have a knight drop that mates me somehow? Because I didn't see it. How many golds do they have? Two? Okay. Two is a lot of golds. Nifun. Let's try this. I'm curious about it. There's the answer. Thanks for the game. All right. Well, maybe we learned something. Probably not. I don't know. I have to study the games. I have to carefully review my mistakes and see what I could have done better. And part of that might be just play openings I'm familiar with. Um, I am building some familiarity with Urshino quite quickly, but... There are probably openings I could play better if I spent a bit more time studying them. Anyway, that was exciting. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.